The Velo is, of course, it's the silicon vertex detector which uh, reconstructs the trajectories of the charged particles and it has to be incredibly close to the beams in order to get the maximum accuracy. We have moved to within 4.5 uh, millimetres of the beam already in a, in a test run earlier this week and in fact this was already a, a world record in terms of approaching colliding beams at a, a, for a particle physics experiment and, and today hopefully we're going to take the, the ultimate step and go one millimetre further. We we receive uh, a few terabytes every second uh, coming from uh, all the channels that fire at every collision and uh, the VELO is uh, one of the main subdetectors that help us uh, reconstruct events in real time. Normally the modules are separated by about 29 millimeters so they look a little bit like this and this is the situation when the LHC is putting protons into the machine and the incredible thing is there's no survey system in the world that would be able to tell us to the accuracy that we need where the beam is relative to our detector. Um, even if you could make a dead reckoning, then the beam might move for operational reasons and we have to be, we're so close and we have to be so safe, we have to be aware of this. And so that's why we don't rely on a measurement, but we measure it ourselves. With these modules, we actually visualize the beam, we reconstruct tracks, we reconstruct the vertices and we see where the beam is and we carefully move to center around it and then to gradually approach step by step. And when we're closed, the aperture where the LHC beams have to pass is just a um, 3.5 millimeter radius. So it's something like the diameter of, of a pencil, your typical pencil with an eraser on the end, a meter long. And the 400 megajoule LHC beams have to pass um, through this uh, very, very narrow space. I, I think for me what's really amazing with this moment is that it's really the tipping point of, of this uh, 10 years project where all the work of 100 people, student, researcher, junior and senior comes together and every single subsystem from the control to the readout to the software reconstruction, the electronics come together to a point that we understand enough to be able to do this movement. It's, it's been such a, an amazing experience to be, to be part of this project, working with this amazing group of people to get the beautiful detector to where it is now, just uh, millimeters from the beamline, collecting data that we're all very eager to start analyzing. I think it's just very exciting that um, we can see 100 meters underground, there's a multi-million pound detector uh, physically moving and we can see direct evidence of that directly on the, on the screens in front of us. Let's say one of the last moments after a long way uh, solving the issues that we have and with a beautiful detector now near to the beam and really closing them to get a new physics and new studies. Thank you.